Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 896. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we have numbers in rows, and we want to conditionally format anytime the total sum of the row is greater than our hurdle of 45. We need it red. Otherwise, we need it green. Now, we also are not going to have a total column, so our formula or for conditional formatting is actually going to have to sum. But before we do that, let's just see what the total in each row is. All right, so I'll control enter and copy this down. All right, so it looks like one, two, three, one, two, three, four need to get that red, otherwise it is green. Now let's build our true false formula down here, copy it over and down so we can visually see how the formula works. Then we'll copy it and put it into our dialog box for conditional formatting. All right, let's just use this cell up here. I'm going to say the row sum, and I have to copy this over and down, and the entire row has to be locked on that. But when I copy it down, I4 needs to move to I5, so it gets the next total. So I'm going to hit the F4 key three times, one, two, three. The column reference I is locked. That means as we go this way, it's locked on that I. But when I copy it down, the 4 will move to a 5. And I'm going to ask the question, is that greater than? Boom, our hurdle. F4, that's locked in all directions. Control Enter, copy it over and down. And so we can see as we copy this to the side that I4 is locked. But when we copy it down, boom, it goes to 5, 6, exactly what we want. We can also see the strings of trues, right? Exactly where we want them. Now, this is just for us as we're learning this. Now we're going to take this formula here. Actually, let's, we're not a, allowed to have totals in the sheet, so we're actually going to amend this formula, copy it over and down, see if it works. Instead of that, let's just build the sum right into our formula. There's the row, and I'm going to lock it with the F4 key one, two, three times, and then close parentheses, control enter, copy it over and down. And so we should see the same pattern, the A's, the uh, A to E is locked, but now when we copy it down, the A and the E is still locked, but the 4 went to 5. Uh, 6 went to 6, 7, or 6 went to 7. All right, so that formula is working just fine. We want to copy this formula in the upper left corner. In edit mode, control C, highlight the entire range up here. That formula in the dialog box is going to be based on that cell. And in memory, it'll copy it over and down. So with that active cell right there, I'm going to go to Home, New Rule, or the keyboard shortcut Alt-O-D. New Rule, Formula, Control-V. And this is greater than our hurdle, so we want it red. I'm going to do, since that's a dark value color, I'm going to do a light font color. Click OK, click OK. Now we have two conditions, but guess what? We only need to have one formula, because we can then format this whatever green we want. And now, if we change, oh, let's also delete this, delete. And we don't, those are just for us to, to learn. But look at that. Now, there are no totals. That is working. If I change this to 25, boom, it becomes. Uh, red. If I change it back, Control-Z, it is green. All right, we'll see you next trick.